I have never addressed this before, um, honestly, because every time I think about it, it makes me want to bore my eyes out. This guy has got onto Love Island UK, and first thing he wanted to do was, in his promotion, was drag me. Now, this isn't the first time he's dragged me, so it's something I'm quite used to, honestly, but after a year's time, I thought, surely he would just stop talking badly about me. And I thought I would just give my side of the story about how I experienced my journey on Love Island with this guy because it was horrible. He bullied me, belittled me, he skin shamed me, he body shamed me, he would constantly tell me to fuck off, shut up, the whole show, and made it his personal vendetta against me to make sure every single guy felt the same way he felt about me. Take in mind... I never did anything back to Aaron. I just copped it, I took it to a point where I just like, I would just, because I've been bullied my whole life, I've, I've just I've just got to a point where my coping skills with him, because he was so intense, was just to crawl up like into a shell and I just didn't say anything. To give you guys an idea, literally the first morning of the villa, sorry, I'm shaking, so please ignore that. And I've just woken up. So this is what I've woken up to. I've woken up to his promo and I just started crying. On the first morning of the show, he told me in the morning he didn't want to pursue things with me further because I coupled up with him on the first day. And he said, and I remember to this day because it stuck with me, he said to me, I like clinging girls, girls that, you know, take care of their skin and like skincare and, you know, you don't, you're really not into that stuff. So he was referring to my acne. I had really bad acne at this point because I had just started my Rakutane journey and my skin was purging. So I literally had cystic acne on my face, which I obviously already felt so insecure about going on TV with my skin like that. So to have someone to point that out to you, I'm like, oh, great. Guys are going to notice this the whole show. And then he goes, oh, and like, I obviously like, I obviously like when girls take care of their bodies and they go to the gym and like stuff like that. So when I went onto the show, I also was 10 kilos heavier than I've ever been. I think it only been like a year or so since I got off the pill. So it was really hard for me to like lose weight. So I was going on the show, not feeling confident in my skin, not feeling confident in my body. And then he literally just straight out the first morning of the villa. Shame me for my skin and shame me for my body. And it was so mean, I literally, I literally bawled my eyes out for like the whole first morning. And like, he also said to me like, oh, well, my type's blonde hair and blue eyes. And obviously after these first two things he said to me, I already was sitting there feeling so crap about myself. And then I'm like, oh, great. And because I don't have blonde hair and blue eyes, like I'm also not good enough. And like, this wasn't even the end of it either. So that was just him being horrible, right? And then he's continued to the whole rest of the show because we were both in it till like the end. Whenever I'd speak, he'd tell me to shut up. Whenever I would say something he didn't agree with, which wasn't even necessarily like, I wasn't even being mean. I was just like having an opinion about something or we'd be playing like the truth bike and I'd ask a question. Like I asked Mitch and Tina, oh, like are you guys falling in love or anything like that? And then he would just be like, oh, fuck off, Courtney. Like this is stuff he'd say to me the whole show and just like put me down. Obviously, our journey's in there about finding someone. And Aaron, the whole show, basically told every guy not to go for me. It was one of the reasons why a guy actually didn't choose me because Aaron was just in his ear about me the whole time. It came to the point where Nora and I were together at the end and some another girl came in. And Aaron was the first one in his ear telling him not to go for me. And that's why Noah found it so hard to like decide to come back to me because... Aaron was just telling him how much of a shit person I was and how like I didn't wasn't it treating him well when again you guys didn't see the edits of how much I was into Noah I was into Noah more than he Noah was even into me like but it didn't air that way which was so shit I don't know why men like this get onto shows let alone a show again I don't know how men get away with bullying girls belittling girls telling girls they're fat and their skin is bad and why we're letting them on shows again like it's just beyond me and 
it's been a year's time and I have not spoken about it this whole time. He's went online multiple times to talk badly about me. He's went on podcasts to talk badly about me just because he could, just because he can. And then on his promo, the first thing he says about his experience is putting me down when I never did anything wrong to him. All I did was get bullied by him. And then this is how, like, what I have to deal with. He is literally just a mean girl. And it would just be nice for people to actually know what he's like. So maybe this season will show it because I know Alice did him because they edited it so well to make him look a certain way. Yet Love Island's supposed to all be about making sure they take care of you post-show, but then they let him.